This video provides an update on the programme of projects being delivered as part of Rother District Council's Corporate Plan 2014-2021. to As we are halfway through the delivery of the programme, we'll take a look at some of the achievements of the 11 projects that have been delivered to date. The Member Development Project provided elected members with new technology and training. Here's Councillor Lord Ampthill explaining the benefits of this project. Since the Council's first award of the South East Employers' Charter for elected member development in March 2008, now over 10 years ago, member training and development at Rother District Council has become fully embedded within the culture of the organisation. It is an integral part of what we do as an authority. Retention of the Charter is a mark of confidence that the culture is maintained within the Council as well as providing assurance to all councillors that they will continue to be supported and developed through a targeted training programme to provide effective community leadership to residents and strategic leadership and good governance to the council. The Planning Act 2008 made provision for the introduction of the Community Infrastructure Levy, or SIL, by local authorities in England and Wales. Councillor Kentfield explains the introduction of SIL by Rother District Council in a little more detail. In April 2016, the Council introduced the Community Infrastructure Levy, which raises funds from developers who are carrying out new building developments across the Rother District and will go towards part funding of a wide range of the infrastructure projects for our communities. The Getting Rother Active project delivered an extensive activity programme with 3,100 actual participants attending regular activities, leading to a total throughput of over 11,000. A table tennis session participant explains what active Rother support means to her. Hello. Uh, I joined the club about a year ago. I suffer with PTSD and have to fight depression every day of my life and this has really helped me a lot and thank you both to the club and to Rother in providing an extra table because it really means that we can play and this has been a lifesaver for me. Thank you. Active Rother continues to support and develop communities in achieving active lifestyles. Check out www.activerother.org.uk for news and events. Councillor Ganley explains what has happened as a result of the Improving Recycling Rates project. Following the implementation of the Joint Waste Partnership with Eastbourne, Hastings and Wealdon, Rother has focused on collecting recycling materials at the curbside, including glass, and introduced the opt-in garden waste scheme. This has resulted in Rother achieving just over 50% of the waste presented by households being recycled. A great achievement by all concerned. The Fuel Poverty Project has delivered training to offices in customer services and private sector housing to identify households living in fuel poverty, allowing them to direct residents to sources of advice and funding. The East Sussex Energy Partnership set up the Warm East Sussex website, providing information on home energy efficiency and any available grants. There is also a free winter health check service available. Rother District Council launched a database where residents could sign up to become part of a collective energy switch, helping to reduce energy bills. 170 residents registered on the database, 101 people actually switched, and each of those should see an average saving in the region of £280 per year. The Coombe Valley Countryside Park Project established a community interest company to manage the park and secured annual funding from the North East Bexhill developers to support maintenance and development. There are several corporate projects that are currently being delivered. Here are highlights of just some of those. Alongside housing development at North East Bexhill, Sea Change Sussex is delivering facilities to create business communities in this attractive countryside setting. Glover's House was opened and fully occupied by park holidays in 2016. High Wheeled House is currently under construction and will offer flexible space that can be occupied either as a whole or in smaller suites, currently available for pre-letting, ready for occupation in spring 2019. With funding from the Local Government Association, we are developing a project to install renewable energy on some of our properties. This will help our carbon footprint as well as increasing income through returns on energy and savings on bills. We are also looking at property investment opportunities. This will help protect the services we deliver. 
The Camber Village Supplementary Planning Document establishes an overarching vision for the village and provides guidance for future development in the locality. Whilst this is a long-term programme of work, Councillor Mrs Hart explains what initial action has been taken to address one of the identified priorities, which is traffic and parking management. Camber Sands is a very, very beautiful and popular beach drawing up to 25,000 visitors on busy summer days. The volume of traffic queuing to access the car park can place a strain on local roads, including the main A259. This results in inconsiderate or illegal parking and blocking of access for emergency vehicles. The removal of the current system of ticket booths at the car park entrance should go some way to alleviate this problem, allowing the free flow of traffic and reducing congestion and queuing, particularly at peak times. The Bexhill Ready Jobs and Apprenticeships Fair was held on the 2nd of March 2018 at the Delaware Pavilion. 53 businesses and support organisations exhibited and footfall was higher than expected given the extreme weather conditions with over 350 delegates attending. Rother District Council is also providing opportunities for apprentices. Harris and Alicia talk about their experience working for this organisation. My name is Alicia and this is Harris. We're both doing an apprenticeship at Rother District Council in customer service. I found out about the apprenticeship through the government website um, I applied through there and I was contacted by my manager who invited me in for an interview. I joined Rother District Council uh, doing my apprenticeship in customer service in January and it's going to take us 18 months to finish the qualification. The qualification is a level 2 NVQ through Sussex Coast College Hastings. I'm really enjoying my apprenticeship here at Rother. Um, it's opened my eyes to the world, to life, to many different things. Um, what we actually pay for. I've been supported really well in my apprenticeship. Um, the team are really supportive. We're given the time to complete our work for the MBQ um, a few hours a day when we need it, that is. Um, That's normally like twice a week we do yeah. that, don't we? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Everyone's always happy to help. We are supporting East Sussex County Council in delivering their county-wide walking and cycling strategy which will be open to consultation in the autumn of 2018. Walking and cycling in Rother is the best way to take in the stunning coastline and countryside whilst reducing our carbon footprint and improving our health. The National Cycle Route 2 from Dover in Kent to St Austell in Cornwall passes through much of the district including Camber, Rye, Winchelsea, Bexhill, Cooden and Normans Bay. The Coastal Culture Trail links Bexhill with Hastings and Eastbourne, with most of the Bexhill stretch being on our wonderful seafronts. To view the full report on the progress of the Corporate Plan programme of projects and for previous update videos, please visit rother.gov.uk forward slash corporate plan.